Shalom everyone Welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School Online Program How are you guys? I wish you all the best for you You have to be healthy all the time and being blessed And don't forget, we always have to seek the Lord for all the matter in our life Now, let us worship our Lord together Shout the news to everyone It's a new day, peace has come Jesus saves Mercy triumphs at the cross Love has come to rescue us Jesus Saves. Sing above the storms of life Singing through the darkest night Jesus saves Free at last What a joyful Our Father in heaven, thank you for all your blessings given to us so that we can come to you today in our Sunday School online class. We need your help, Lord, to understand your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may have heard the word honor. Yes, the word honor is always being used in the news, in the media, or in other places. Honor is the word you have probably heard at home and at school. How would you define honor? You can write in the column below. Honor is treating someone in a special way or giving a good attitude toward a person. Today, we are going to learn about the special way that King David wanted to honor someone. Let us find out what exactly he wanted to do. The story began when David was dwelling in his house. He felt distraught because the ark of the Lord was in a tent while he himself was in a beautiful cedar house he voiced out his concern to nathan who was a prophet at the time nathan told him that he should do whatever he feels is right because the lord god of israel is with him however later that night the Lord told Nathan to tell David that he should not build a house for him. This was because he had not dwelt in a house since the time he brought up Israel. He said that he has moved from tent to tent with all of Israel. 
and he has not said that he needed a house to dwell in. The Lord God told Nathan that he never said to the judges or the shepherds of Israel to build him a house. He has been with David throughout time, taking him from the sheepfold and and warring off his enemies. He has made him a name just like the great names before him. The Lord said that he will plant a place for his people so that they do not have to move anymore. The Lord said that when David's day are fulfilled, he will join his fathers. It will be David's son who will build the Lord a house, and God will establish him a kingdom. David felt humbled before the Lord and asked who he was to be able to receive such blessings. He praised the Lord and said that the word God has spoken shall be established forever, so that his name will be magnified and glorified. He thanked God for revealing to him that the house of the Lord will be established and that his kingdom will be built. Then, when Solomon became a king, he built the temple of the Lord. And after that, he worshipped the Lord. When Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And the priests could not enter the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. When all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord on the temple, they bowed their faces to the ground on the pavement and worshipped and praised the Lord by saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. And the priests attended to their services. The Levites also with instruments of the music of the Lord, which King David had made to praise the Lord, saying, For his mercy endures forever. The priests sounded trumpets opposite them, while all Israel stood. Furthermore, Solomon consecrated the middle of the coat that was in front of the house of the Lord. For there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings, because the bronze altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offerings, the grain offerings, and the fat. At that time, Solomon kept the feast seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great assembly from the entrance of Hamath to the brook of Egypt. And on the eighth day, they held a sacred assembly, for they observed the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. On the twenty-third day of the seventh month, he sent the people away to their tents, joyful and glad of heart for the good that the Lord had done for David, for Solomon, and for his people Israel. So children, we saw today what happens when family work together to be obedient to God as they honor and worship Him. In return, God showers the families with His blessings. King David's desires was to build a place where the people could worship God. But God told David that he had other plans. It was David's son Solomon who eventually built the temple and gave people a permanent place where they could go and worship God. David and Solomon honor God through their obedience and their action. One of the many ways we can worship God is through the song. Whether we sing 
with or without music, whether we move or stand still, whether we sing loud or sing softly, even if we just listen and think about him while worship music is playing. We can worship God through song. There are countless worship songs. You probably have some favorite song that you sing at the church, at school, at Sunday school, or at home. These songs are filled with reminders of who God is, what He has done, and why we love Him so much. If you were going to write a worship song, what would you write? What are some things that you love about God? How could you express your thanks and appreciation for what God has done for you? What do you want others to know about God and who He is? We saw our lesson today, how important it is for families to work together to honor and worship our God. Yes, God loves when we take the time to worship Him individually, but He delights in families coming together to worship Him. As you head into a new week, be mindful to look for ways that you can honor and worship the Lord. You don't have to be at church at the moment because we have the COVID pandemic situation, but you can still honor and worship God at home with your parents, with your siblings. And also, you can worship and honor God individually in your room alone. You can pray to God. You can sing a song to God. God will love it because God loves to see His children happy and be thankful and be joyful all the time because God loves us. You can have a worshipful heart no matter where you are.
God, thank you for the gift of your word and the countless ways that it points us back to you. Thank you for what the Bible teaches us, for the ways it encourages and guides us. Give us a desire to focus and pay attention to what you tell us, and give us the strength to take what we learn from your word and apply it to our lives each and every day. Fill our hearts with a desire to know you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now we are going to say our Bible memory verse for this week. It is taken from Revelation 4 verse 11. Let us read together. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. Revelation 4 verse 11. Okay guys, we listened to the story already. We worship our Lord already. Now we are coming to the end of the Sunday School online program. I want you to be always have faith in our Lord Jesus. Never be worried of the pandemic COVID-19 and always be faithful and always seek for the Lord Jesus in every matter that you have. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless you all.